Um, I would like to reiterate from this position that this is a criminal threat to New Zealand and police and government are leading the investigation. So I think, uh, or our opinion, uh, as a dairy industry, this is really a despicable uh, crime and act yeah, to blackmail New Zealand. Although we understand that the threat is very unlikely to be carried out, we have done everything in our power to ensure the security of our already world-class supply chains going into markets. Uh, since, since we've known about this, the testing for this material has really ramped up. Uh, there's been something like 35,000 tests now and uh, to date absolutely no detect for this chemical at all. So we are, we are increasingly confident uh, that the measures we've put in place to lock down our supply chains are working. Um, are you expecting for there to be any kind of financial fallout from this and if so, um, what degree, if you can put a, a dollar figure, even a ballpark on that? I think it's, it's, it, it's far too early to, uh, to, do, to, to, uh, to start that debate. I think we, should, we need to focus today on, on the criminal act and to be, uh, to be honest we have been quite quite angry about all, the, all, all of this, that we focus on the criminal act, we focus on, on safe, safe consumers. Um, and yes, we, have, we will have to work with our counterparts, with our trade partners that, and with our con, uh, customers overseas, yeah, that we, we minimize the value impact. But that is really, for me, third level. It is the criminal act, so the perpetrator, it is consumers and children, and, and, and the value consequences, too early to talk about.